Anytime you've got BU and Maine in the top 10, you're sure to see some fireworks. Both of these teams off to good starts. Great sweater matchup tonight. Scarlet and white for BU and a two-tone blue for Maine. Keep an eye on the Black Bears offense early. They have scored the first goal in seven consecutive games. They're five, one, and one, and they've done it again! Right off the opening draw, it's Thomas Friel, and the Black Bears have a one-nothing lead. BU with clean possession of the puck, just getting outworked behind the net, and Friel gets the wraparound. They call this the NB line for Maine as in New Brunswick. That's where both Nadeau brothers and Lyndon Breen are from. As you have a hooking call, and now Antonacci will bring it up the top of the boards. Green cuts middle, high slot. Celebrini holding at the circle. Get it out high. Comes right back to him and he scores! Been out high. Good puck retrievals by Ryan Green. He wins a battle down low and then it's the two stars. It's Lane Hudson, it's Macklin Celebrini. A couple of passes back and forth. The defense not able to get in the way and Celebrini wires a one-timer. Trying to pick of the Canucks, long feed and he finds a wide open Quinn Hudson. In on Osman, but he's beaten by the goaltender this time. Warrior will sweep it into the air for Bradley Nadeau. And now it's the captain, Lyndon Breen. Quick turnaround, hit that one off of the six foot seven, Cade Weber. Maine was five minutes away from a sweep of the previously number one ranked BC Eagle. Bradley, once you get one, the rest of them come. Just look at the Hudsons. There's a nice pass to the slot, and a wrister from Sholey went hot. Abinay forced to the blue line, and eventually Maine able to tip it out. This is Felix Trudeau who scored against BC last weekend. Bouncing puck is handled by Caron. Hit around to say the least. And I'm sure it's been talked about plenty, but. Nice pass from Breen and a turnaround shot tonight. Confidence in him. Now Will Lander drops one back to Stevens. Around behind for Lachance. Power move in front would not go. Follow up from Stevens stays out as well. Chabri had the game winning goal to beat Quinnipiac last month. The first eye opening win of the year for Maine. And since then they've had a couple of more. One timer by Boy Poisson and Karan was there. Chance for a breakout here. Green asking for it. He'll have a step toward the loose puck as the penalty will expire. Across to Case McCarthy, and a big save shorthanded by Osman. This is Celebrini straight ahead, gives it to Luke Tuck. Here comes Luke Tuck, big save by Osman. That'll free up Josh Nadeau, his brother Bradley in the middle. Kick save, Karana comes all the way out. Made four or five big saves throughout this frame. This game could probably have a little bit Puck. He makes another stop and a whistle here. Ben Bar Hughes throws that too hard off the stick of Kaplan. He's got it anyway. Devin Kaplan missed the target. Brophy had an opportunity to sign and he's been playing great hockey. Breen able to feed Nadeau and he rings the bar. Josh Nadeau beat Karan but not the post. A rare mishandle of the puck from Lane Hudson. Save from Karan as Scott couldn't take advantage of the turnover. Wilmer trying to force Josh Nadeau deep in his own end. Breen gave it away to Kaplan. His shot was blocked. Skids free for Holt. Brandon Holt now feeds the middle. Nick Poisson building ahead of steam. Almost caught from behind. Rebound. Didn't have enough shot available after the first pad save from Karan. Puck finds Freel again. Thrown toward the middle. Good stick work from Quinn Hudson and he draws a penalty. Hudson steps to the far side circle, lets it fly, tipped into the goal! Ryan Green on the power play. The Terriers are cooking five on four tonight. And when you get this type of puck movement and body movement from guys like Quinn Hudson traveling all the way from the left side to the right side, power plays often talk about changing sides with the puck. Move the puck or move yourself. Well, Quinn Hudson holds on to the puck there. He goes from the left side to the right. They'll let it go by and allow BU to take over. Too many men has been whistled here. Quick touch passing, right to Green, all the way through to Hudson. Green a one-timer, first save made. Loose puck, still available outside the blue paint, but it came right back to Osman and he gets the whistle. Brazil, flipped ahead. Short-handed opportunity, but read well by Caron to keep it away from Breen, and here comes Tuck the other way. He's in with Celebrini, but a blocker save from Osman.
Whitmer feeds Will Lander. Now Jack Hughes. Five seconds left in the penalty. Will Lander score! It is the third power play goal for BU, and they've opened up a 3-1 lead. And that's what this power play unit does. They work the puck around. Hughes does a nice job of drawing a couple penalty killers in and giving it back to Willander. Willander's got his head up the entire time. He doesn't go for the big slapper. He finds a lane. There's a reason he just got drafted, what, 12th or 13th overall by the Vancouver Canucks. This kid's going to be a star. Main looking for an answer. Karan made the first save. That one popped over the cage. Eight games into the season. Maine had allowed three power play goals. 28 minutes into this game, they have allowed three power play goals. They got the fourth line out there, Pavage, Trudeau, and Nemo into the offensive end. That one came right to Nemo, and Karan denies him. And they tied it and eventually won it to pick up the two points there. Big chance for Mecklen Celebrini off the crossbar. Horn went off, play goes on. 3-1, the score remains. And Doug Friedman on the BU bench is on his earpiece right now. He wants to hear from up top, get some other looks at that one. It was hard to tell from up here. That went in on Karan. The Doe trying to feed the circle, but Antonacci couldn't get it. It'll certainly be looked at. I'm not ready to completely rule out the possibility of that being a goal. Quinn Hudson is stonewalled by Victor Osman. Nadeau gets it to Breen, and now Bradley Nadeau is free. Looking back to Breen in the middle, backhander denied by Karan. Scholey off to the races. Spinning pass to the middle, kept out by Karan. Now Drury's name is hanging here on a banner with the two other names, as that one saved by Karan on the one-timer for Priel. Full head of steam for Josh Nadeau. Skating down central. That one sticked away and handled by Matthew Karan. Two offenses that average over three goals a game. Bradley Nadeau on the feed from Breen. Hoping to return the pass, and Breen couldn't quite angle that toward goal. Now it's Bradley again stepping to the middle. Backhand feet to hold, settles the puck, and snaps one to Karan. Nice save. Again, Maine off to the best start since 2006, but behind here, Peterson gets in, draws a penalty. Save was made by Osman. Celebrini shimmies, gives to Green, still holding, fires across. Net came loose, and they'll blow it to more than any other defenseman in the country. Jack Hughes now. The tuck one-timer, and that one nearly tucked itself in on the near side post. See if it was offsides. Bradley Nadeau, tipped wide. To BU, he might not show up on the score sheet, but... Backdoor feed denied by Karan. Across to Bradley Nadeau, wrist shot got glass. Nice keep in by Holtz. It'll feed Bradley Nadeau again. Down low, touch pass. Josh Nadeau stolen, won't score! Thomas Friel with his second of the night. And on the power play, Maine is right back in it. Like to get the puck down low and then immediately into the slot. And this is executed absolutely perfect. The one touch pass into the slot from Friel to Nadeau. Nadeau gets the shot on net, draws all the legitimate or not after this great start to the season, 6-1-1. One, one. Big chance in front, Peterson, and a huge save from Osman. Uh, we are seeing the Black Bears. How easy would it have been to roll over three power play goals? It's not your night. You've been limited in the box, and they come right back here, and it feels like this is anybody's game. Right? If they can hold it, it has been tough for anyone to grab a hold of it for uh, more than a week. Josh Nadeau dragging, got around Grimes, and he'll spin back toward the slot. One-timer hops all the way through. And yeah, we held on to it for quite a while that year in 2010 or 2009, whatever it was. Here's Macklin Celebrini, lifted it oh. high, and he can't believe it. Banged off the M boards, and it squirts out to the circle, tipped wide. That one got through the blue paint. And on that, here comes the goalie. Osman off, Poisson on, six on five, empty net for Maine. It's time for Maine. Six on five, they'll set it up. Wrist shot, knocked down, save Karan. Puck still loose, skids to the end boards. Lachance was chopping at it, but it comes to Bradley Nadeau. Threw it in front, Poisson shot, pass save. Rebound blocked in front by Lachance. Desperation mode now for Maine. Chabrier flipped it back to center. There's room for Celebrini. 
Off the backhand, hit the post. Loose in the corner. Three seconds left. Hail Mary for Maine. BU wins it. If you talk about home ice, I don't think there's a tougher place to play than up at Alphonse Arena. We've seen the videos online of Alphonse Arena. It's been bumping so far this year up in Maine, so we'll see how the crowd here is at Aganis tonight. Trying to force Josh Nadeau deep in his own end. Breen gave it away to Kaplan. His shot was blocked. Skids free for Holtz. 